I'm, I'm a big reader myself and there's nothing worse to me than opening up a book and there it just feels like it's an after action report of what happened in the last book and if you didn't know what happened in the last book you're just confused so i've always made sure that every book you pick up is standalone it tells you who's who you, you definitely get hints that there's this greater history between these characters that are interacting with each other, but you have to go back to the earlier books and, and see what it is. It doesn't slow the, the new books down. And that's, that's always going to be, I would, I would never want to write a book where I had to tell people, okay, I'd love you to buy this book of mine, but I'm going to need you to buy the 11 <laughs> others first. I, that's not my style because I'm a reader and I wouldn't want someone doing that to me. So yeah, the 12th book in the Gray Man series, it has a character named Alex Valesky, who is a Ukrainian banker in Switzerland, who comes across this trove of secret information from his bank that involves Russian intelligence uh, payments going into the West, uh, paying off some influential Westerners. This is during the, the war. It's, last year when I started writing this book, the war had just begun and I wanted to involve it. So I spent the whole time going, I'm, I have to kind of prognosticate what things are going to be like in a year. And unfortunately, I guess I, I was pretty right that there, you know, the, the war would still be going on. But uh, so Valesky has this information, which if it gets out, will force a, a bunch of Western leaders to, to you know, face the music that they're working with the Russians. And so Court Gentry is hired by the CIA to get this information so the agency can have it. Meanwhile, his erstwhile lover, the woman who's been in the last six or seven books, a, a former Russian intelligence officer named Zoya Zakharova, she's on the other side of it. Her job is to protect Alex Valesky as this information is moved around the world. And so Court and Zoya, who are colleagues a lot of the time, haven't seen each other in a year. They're working on opposite sides of this. So there's a lot of twists and turns. There's a lot of... Um, uh, false alliances and shifting, shifting sands in this novel, uh, but also a lot of action.